Hello guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 4 of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had created a Docker Compose file as you can see on my screen. And now in this tutorial, we are going to build the Docker image and run the same on the EC2 instance. Right, so before we move on, I just want to update network underscore mode to host instead of bridge. So I will say host. And I will also show you how we can use uh, Bridge as a network driver uh, at later point of time in the same tutorial, right? So now, uh, since we have updated the Docker Compose file, we are going to push this code to the GitHub. So I have two terminal over here. Uh, on the right side, I have uh, logged in into the EC2 instance that we have created or launched in the uh, very first tutorial of this tutorial series, right? And if I do ls, I don't have anything yet over there. Uh, we have only configured Docker within that EC2 instance, right? And on the left side, uh, I have the uh, Docker Compose file and the uh, Flask application directory, right? So I'm going to push this code to the GitHub. So I have this uh, repository that is uh, Flask-Docker. So I'm going to push this code over here. So I will say get status. So I have this DS underscore store. So I want to ignore this. I will say vim dot get ignore. And I will add it over here. I will simply say start dot We'll save this file. Oops. And now if I do get status, uh, DS underscore store is removed, right? Now I'm going to say get add dot get commit hyphen n and this initial commit. Get push origin master and I have successfully pushed the code within this repository, right? So here we are. Now I'm going to pull this code or pull this repo within the EC2 instance, right? So this was our EC2 instance and I have SSH into this instance, right? So I'm going to clone this over there. So here we are, we'll say clear. So get clone username. And now I have this repository over here, right? So which is flask hyphen docker. So we'll do flask hyphen docker. We will do ls. Now from here, uh, we are going to build this docker image, right? So if I do sudo docker images, then as you can see, uh, right now we don't have any image, right? Now we are going to build this. So I will say docker, it will be sudo docker hyphen compose build, right? So this is going to build the image. So it's pulling the uh, base image, right? So it start with pulling the base image followed by the command or the instruction uh, that we have mentioned, right? So it will take a while for the uh, very first time. So probably I will close this uh, left terminal uh, just to avoid confusion. We don't need that right now.
so as you can see the image has been built successfully right and it has been tagged as flask docker underscore flask app right now if i do sudo docker images then we will have the image that is flask docker underscore flask app right and another we have that is ubuntu so this is our base image right so now uh, we want to run this right so it's going to be sudo docker compose up right so it's creating as you can see uh, it's running right so we have this url this is localhost right and now let's try to uh, access the flask application using the public ip address so copy this new tab paste it over here and it's not loading right why it's because uh, we have not open port 8000 within the security groups right so if we look at the security groups and if we click on view inbound rules then we only have port 22 open right so we have to mention port 8000 over here because it's running on port 8000 right and since we are using a host network so we don't need to uh, mention port or expose the port explicitly even if we have did that it's going to ignore that right so we will go to the security group and click on inbound say edit add a rule say custom tcp rule say port 8000 source let's skip it anywhere and say save right now i think we should be able to access the flask application let's try again should be colon 8000 and here we go right so earlier we were trying to uh, load this application on port 80 right but port 80 was also not open so so, so let me uh, do this again let me remove this once and show you so that you can get the exit idea right now we have this application now if i try to load on port 8000 it's going to just circle up right and it's not going to load the web page maybe let me open it in new tab so that uh, you can get an idea right so now it's not working right so we have to add that uh, port over here right 8000 anywhere save and I think now we are good to go. I will reload this and here we are, right? So this is our Flask application that is running, right? So now uh, let's go back to uh, terminal. Let's stop this, right? Let me clear this out. Now let me uh, add it Docker Compose. Now I'm showing you those uh, ports and the network mode, right? Now if I go ahead and comment this So as I said uh, when you define network mode as host it's going to ignore the ports values right So let me comment this so here we are making sure that we are not exposing anything right so this is for just to give you an idea right so now I am going to save this Now again I will say sudo docker compose build right so what you can do is instead of build you can say sudo docker compose up and you can pass on the another parameter saying hyphen hyphen build right so what it will do is it will first build the image and it will run it right so say enter so as you can see right, this time it's uh, quite fast right because everything uh, is being loaded from cache right so we have this running now if i try to load the application it's going to work right because when we define host it uses the system or the local host or the local system network right now let's go back over here let me stop this now let's edit docker compose again now instead of host 
let's define it as bridge right and we will keep the ports commented right and let's save this and let's run it again now our application is running right now let's check over here so reload this and it's not going to work right it says this site can't be reached because now uh, the container network and the system or the host network is isolated right they are not communicating uh, with each other right because uh, we are not exposing any port from the container in which our flask application is running right so we have to explicitly mention ports or hyphen p parameter to expose the port to the local system or the host system right now here we have two network right uh, so one is containers network and one is the host network so we are going to stop this let's edit docker compose again let's uncomment this and save this again docker compose up hyphen hyphen build right and now it's running now if we try to load the application it's going to work right so this is how a bridge and host can be used or how this is how they work right so basically uh, now as you can see the application uh, or the container is running right and we can't do anything further so in order to run these things in the background uh, you have to mention parameter hyphen d so it will run this container in background and then you can perform any other work you want to right so i'm going to stop this we will edit the docker compose sorry not this one so we are going to edit docker compose file and i'm going to replace bridge with host and then we don't require ports parameter right but let it be save this file and if you want to run the container in background then you have to add one more parameter that is hyphen d right enter and as you can see uh, now you have the terminal right you can perform any other work you want and if you go ahead and try to load the application it's going to work right so hyphen d basically stands for uh, detach uh, i believe so uh, if you want to see which container or what all container is running so the command is sudo docker ps right so right now only one container is running that is this one container id is whatever right and we have this command that is running that is unicorn 3 over here and so on right so let's clear this out one more thing i would like to highlight here is uh, let's go to flask app directory let me do vim docker file right so here as you can see i have copy flask app to slash opd directory right so it's not necessary that you have to copy the directory or whatever files to slash opt right instead what you can do is if you want to create your own directory then you can say run mkdir and you can create your own directory let's say slash app right and then now instead of uh, copying flask app to slash opt you can mention copy flask app to slash app directory right and then define work directory as awp right so this is how you can also create your own directory and copy your files or uh, whatever directories to the created or newly created directory within the container right so just to uh, give you an idea right so i am not going to save this so no writes since last change okay yeah right so this is how you can run the 
Flask application using Docker and Docker Compose file. And this is how you can access. You have to make sure is that uh, you have uh, added correct permission or the correct port number within the security groups, right? And you have to make sure that which network mode you are using or which driver you are using, right? If you are using bridge, then you have to mention ports explicitly. You have to expose the ports explicitly, right? And in case if you are using network mode as host driver, then you don't need to mention port because container will be using the same network as the host, right? So there is no isolation between those networks. So, well, uh, this is how you can run Unicorn and access the Flask application using Docker, right? But now we don't want to serve the request directly via Unicorn, right? Instead, uh, we want to serve it via Nginx web server. So that is something I'm going to cover in the next tutorial. So probably in the next tutorial, we will create the Nginx uh, configuration file along with the Docker file, right? So the idea here is that we are going to run two container, right? Uh, one is for Nginx and another will run the Flask application and both the container will intercommunicate with each other, right? So the flow will be like the user will visit the web application from the web browser and the request will pass on through the Nginx server and then to the Flask application via Unicorn, right? So this is how it's going to work. So well, uh, closing this tutorial here and till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.